Eagles leading the NFC East. If they win, they're in. They're favored by four and a half at the New York Giants, over under at 45 and a half. Mike, go ahead. Yeah, look, um, as soon as the Eagles beat the Cowboys, we're in the studio for Sunday night football, football night in America. Tony Dungy says, watch the Giants turn around and beat the Eagles or words to that effect. And it wouldn't surprise me if the Giants win this game. Daniel Jones has played great in recent weeks. He's only the third quarterback in league history to, as a rookie, have three or more games with four or more touchdown passes, joining Fran Tarkenton from my Minnesota Vikings, as you would say, Chris, and Deshaun Watson from your Houston Texans. So uh, (laughs) impressive year for Daniel Jones. Saquon Barkley's healthy again. He had a big performance in that overtime win over Washington. The Eagles are going to have their hands full. But something happened to the Eagles at halftime of that game on Monday night against the Giants a few weeks ago. They were down 17 to three. They tied it up. They won in overtime, beat Washington in that crazy week 15 game. Uh, the, the win over Dallas, their most impressive of the season. And, and I think they're going to be able to do what they need to do to get past the Giants and win the division and send the Cowboys home. Uh, they've come too far in, 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 in a short period of time to stop now. I think the Eagles get it done 23 to 17. It's not going to be easy. It's going to be close, but I think the Eagles have enough to pull it off. Yeah. um, The Giants are dangerous. You're right. I mean, Saquon's as healthy as he's been all year. Daniel Jones, we saw what he could do last week. I mean, his connection with, you know, Golden Tate and Darius Slayton, it's dangerous against the Eagles, you know, and and the, the offense for the Giants has a little bit of everything, which can make it tough on the Philadelphia Eagles that way. You know, hey, yeah, you could you could get down there and, and say, okay, we're going to stop Saquon, not let them run the ball. Yeah, good luck. I mean, Daniel Jones, if you play man-to-man and there's a spot to put the ball, he, he can hit the bullseye all day long. So that's where it's scary, let alone the Giants, you know, defensively can do some different things on that side of the ball too uh, as far as game plan pur- purposes. But I think I go back to kind of what you said, Mike. The second half of that first meeting, I think the – Eagles figured out their formula and how they want to continue to move forward as an offense with the two tight ends, the two backs out of the backfield, playing it that way. Uh, And I think Carson Wentz ultimately will just be clutch. I do. I think this game will be very close. I'm picking Eagles 24-21, and I think it's going to come down to four minutes left in the game. Eagles got to go down to kick a game-winning field goal or score a touchdown to win the game. I think it'll be one of the two, and I think Carson Wentz will deliver for the fourth week in a row. Okay, you good? Nothing more to add I'm there? I'm good. Nothing more to add there. All fly, right. Eagles, fly. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.